Hello, it's the IT guys, and welcome back to Microsoft Excel 2013. So today we're going to be having a look at graphs and charts. So first off, we're going to be looking at this set of data. Then we'll insert a chart. Go over to the Insert tab, and you can either choose a chart type from the list here, or you can do what I recommend doing, which is hit the recommended chart button. Now you'll have a series of charts which Excel recommends for you. This top one is the one I'm going to use, so then all I have to do is click OK, and I instantly get my graph. Now there's a few things that we can do to improve this graph. First off, we can give it a chart title, so I'm going to call it Sales. Next, if we go over to Quick Layout, you can choose to say have the where the legend is and have axes titles. You can change the way your graph is set out. So I want this one with the axis titles. I'm going to put for this one country and this one sales again. If we go over to add a chart element, we can again add our axis titles. We can add our chart title and say where it is, so it's going to overlay here. We can add data labels to our columns, so I can have them in the center, at the end, inside, outside. What's a call out? They look quite messy on this graph, so I'm going to leave them off. We can insert error bars, and I'm going to talk to you about them in a minute. We can insert a data table with the legend key without and this will give you the raw data within the graph like you can see here you can also move where our legend is or turn it off completely and we can set the grid lines so I might want all of the major and minor grid lines turned on for this graph. This graph. Right, that's all I'm going to show you on this graph. Let's move over to this set of graph. This will be a line graph. This is a set of scientific data, which is for an experiment on electromagnetic breaking. Now, when I come over to recommended charts, I get this nice line graph here, which is the one I want to insert. There's a few more options. So I'm going to go with this one. And I'm going to click OK. Again, I'm going to give it a title, which is average time. And I'm now also going to insert our axis titles. So I'm going to have our horizontal and our vertical axis title. This line, this axis on the bottom is the current. And this axis on the side is my time. So now this is looking a lot more like a graph. We can change the styling of our graph using these chart styles. So I might want to have it sort of black, like this one. And I can do this quite easily. There's lots of styles to choose from. I quite like this style. It's got that slightly silvery glow to it. I can also insert trend lines and error bars on this graph since it's scientific data. So the trend line, we can come here, and then you look if you want a linear, exponential, linear forecast, but it will continue, or a moving average graph. The moving average graph the trend line fits my data the best, so I will insert that one. You can change the colour of this trend line by double clicking on it, coming over to the fill and line, changing the transparency, and as you can see it's red at the moment, I can say change it to green. You can also change how thick this trend line is, so you can make it thicker or thinner. The suit You can also change how the trend line ends, so you can have a flat end, a squared end, a rounded end, etc. 
We're going to turn it off again. So now we're going to insert our error bars. To do this, come back over to add chart element. Error bars. Now we can have standard error bars, which is what you see here. And this is the one I'm going to use for this example. You can set some percentage errors or a standard deviation, which is very messy in this graph. But I'm going to go for a standard error. So now we have error bars added to our graph. Finally, we're going to have a look at the pie charts. So here is some um, data again. So you could just click here to insert a pie chart. But I'm going to go on recommended charts. It's actually the second one here. So I'm going to insert it. Now, let's have another look. We can do a couple of things, like changing the styles again. That one looks quite nice. I can turn these data labels on and off, same way as I did for the other graphs. I can also split out individual segments, like this, by dragging that segment out. Or, if I select the entire graph, like this, I can drag out, and I should be able to drag all of the segments apart to suit what you want. So, that's all I've got to show you with this tutorial. There's many more tutorials on our channel, so don't forget to subscribe. Also, like this video, but for now, that's all we've got to show you. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.